Pope Francis arrived at GSP Stadium in Nicosia, Cyprus to celebrate Mass in memory of St. Francis Xavier on his feast day. Various flags were present in the crowd. Most notably, many groups waved the flag of Lebanon, where a large number of migrants living in Cyprus are originally from. The Pope celebrated the Mass along with the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Archbishop Pier Battista Pizzaballa, the leader of Christians practicing in the Latin Rite in Cyprus. Sin dall'inizio del cristianesimo, quindi, Cipro è il luogo di creatività del Vangelo, di evangelizzazione e inculturazione, luogo di incontro, dialogo e accoglienza della buona notizia, sinonimo di superamento delle frontiere etniche, culturali e religiose. In his homily, Pope Francis related the divisions between people to the blindness of those who ask Jesus for healing in the Gospel. Se restiamo divisi tra di noi, se ciascuno pensa solo a sé o al suo gruppo, se non ci stringiamo insieme, non dialoghiamo, non camminiamo uniti, non possiamo guarire pienamente dalla necessità. At the end of the Mass, the Pope addressed the crowd and thanked them for living with hope for the future. Qui a Cipro sto respirando un po' di quella atmosfera tipica della Terra Santa dove l'antichità e la varietà delle tradizioni cristiane arricchiscono il pellegrino. Questo mi fa bene, e fa bene incontrare comunità di credenti che vivono il presente con speranza, aperti al futuro, e condividono questo orizzonte con il più bisognoso. He specifically referenced the migrants who came to Cyprus in search of a better life. Pope Francis then venerated an icon of Our Lady given to him by the Orthodox Archbishop of Cyprus, Chrysostomos II, before proceeding out. The Pope will end his time in Cyprus by meeting with a group of migrants at the Church of the Holy Cross in Nicosia. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format brief videos of one to two minutes so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.